Okay, so what we got going on here are my two uh, puffers. They are green spotted puffers, which are from Africa and Asia. Um, this is my 80 uh, gallon tank. Uh, previously, the water in here was a full salt water tank, but um, due to laziness and whatnot, um, it's now brackish water, which is just basically less salt, but not quite uh, fresh water. So brackish water is where uh, in streams, they, um, where freshwater streams meets the ocean, the water has uh, less salt in it. So these guys are um, about seven to eight years old. They're pretty darn old. Um, generally, I guess the maximum life of these guys is about 10 years, but that's like crazy for most pet fish because uh, back when I had a bunch of tropical fish in here they usually only live two to three years so these guys are grandma and grandpa here and um, way back in the day when I'd feed them they'd go nuts over the food but now they're probably half blind so they're pretty slow and sluggish and barely even notice or don't care much about but we're gonna feed them here in just a sec um, and a couple notes um way back in the day i did have a i had a baby octopus i put in here and he actually they just were curious they didn't attack him or anything um he only lasts about three weeks though they're pretty fragile um so that was that guy and then um i did have a cleaner shrimp in here with some other tropical fish but these guys really, they love bloodworms and any kind of crustaceans. So a couple months, I'm surprised they he even lasted that long. But um, one day I came home and uh, my uh, cleaner shrimp was in one of those bellies. He had a really big belly. <laughs> Anyways, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and feed him. And uh, give me just a minute here. I'll be back. I'm going to swim around for a sec. Here we go. Let's see if they're hungry. There it goes. Well, I guess they are hungry. Those are uh, blood worms. And they're kept in the freezer, so it takes a minute for it to uh, warm up. <laughs> the problem is they're so old, they're like half blind, so. <laughs> There we go. Now these guys have, uh, they have beaks, which are actually just like, uh, you know, like most birds. I guess that's due to what they prefer the crustaceans and uh, need to have a beak to break them open. Um, well, I guess that's about it for my commentary here. I'll uh, keep it going for a little bit and uh, I'll go ahead and record some music to one of a minute. So I'm going to stop here and then start it back up in a sec. <laughs> 